It's hot out here. All right, third time's a charm. We're recording here. Feet set, mount. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here for a video today to help make you a better shooter. Now, what we're gonna be doing, I know we haven't seen the sweet pink semi-automatic gun in a while, but um, I did a video a little while back talking about patterning um, a couple different chokes and a couple different loads for hunting. And I got a comment based on, I should do a video based on uh, impact, basically. Am I actually hitting where I'm aiming? Because it seemed like there were a few light pellets on my target. So basically what this is going to look like is we have a full choke in. I'm going to be shooting the uh, Kent Elite target loads today. Those are seven and a halfs. And we're going to mount and shoot. They said the problem with my last video is I was holding and aiming, which is not going to be my standard way of pointing um, when I mount and shoot a bird or mount and shoot a target normally. So we have a single dot to aim at on a piece of paper. I set this up pretty simple. There's a pallet here. I've got a couple T-posts to hold the pallet from tipping over. And then this is just some carpenter paper, um, or I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's designed to like uh, keep paint off the floor and whatever else. So we're gonna utilize this to be able to tell, am I hitting left or right or high? I've got a full choke in. We're gonna be standing close so that pattern is going to be as tight as possible and we're going to see am I hitting where I'm aiming this is a impact drill this is one that you should definitely be doing with your guns at home let's get started all right so we're going to go ahead and throw one round at a time we're going to actually be changing the target paper basically every single shot and evaluating kind of where each hits now the key to this drill is the fact that you have a consistent mount let me get this load out of here you have a consistent mount and we can talk about some of the, the actual form and stuff. I'm definitely not a professional shooter or any of those other things, but I do enough shooting that I'm fairly consistent and I do a pretty good job of hitting stuff. So now the fact that we are shooting with a shotgun, a non-moving target is different than tracking and moving on something. But what I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna mount. I'm gonna have my feet set like I should. I'm gonna mount and then shoot. I've got my both eyes open like I normally would. I'm not aiming down the barrel and waiting. We're just gonna mount and shoot and kind of see where we end up on that. We're gonna look at each shot as we go. All right. We've also got a little uh, barrel cam mounted on here that may give us a different perspective to see where I'm actually shooting during this process. All right. Well, let's go take a look. All right, so we've got shot number one. I was uh, pulled up to shoot here. You can very clearly see that I was approximately four inches high. I'm guessing this is the brunt. This looks like the where the wad kind of ricocheted off the paper there. Um, but the huge portion of this shot, that distance, close, everything else, we are high. Now, I'm human. There's definitely room for air here. But what I want to go ahead and do is repeat this two or three times. And that's if I'm hitting the same place every single time, that's going to tell me that we really should be making some adjustments to the gun. All right, so exacto knife cut off the bottom. I'm not overly concerned at uh, checking these out or looking at each one of these as we after we get done. It's pretty obvious. Uh, I'm high, straight on, but high. Let's do another one here. I'm just going to roll this up and tack it down. And then our roll is acting as the weight to keep the paper tight. And then I've got a little shot of spray paint here to give us something to aim at. Let's go shoot another one. Same thing again. See if I can do a little better this time. That one looks a little better. Let's go take a closer look here. All right, so we've got a second shot in here. You can see uh, punched a hole just to the right and almost even with. 
that's gonna be, I mean, that's a dead bird, that's a dead clay. It's, uh, it's one of those things, again, said I'm not a machine, um, but looks like that what I may need to do is practice a little bit more consistency with my mounting, but we're gonna go ahead and do one more just so that we can see, you know, if I can replicate this or if I'm gonna end up shooting high again. This again is just the wad uh, punching through that cardboard as well. So we're gonna go one more time. And then we'll roll this bad boy up. Now, if we can't replicate something that looks like one of the last, we know that the inconsistency is all just me and I need to practice shooting more. All right, black dot in the middle. Oh, stop, stop that. Okay, I thought it was gonna run. I run all the way down there. Hoo! All right, let's go shoot one more. Whoo, it's hot out here. All right, third time's a charm. We're recording here. Feet set, mount. And that one, I felt right when I pulled the trigger. And it's looking like that's where I was. As big a hole as that makes down there, let's go ahead and shoot one more at it. I think I shot right again. Well, it looks like this was the first shot, this was the second shot. Um, as far as uh, rifle accuracy here, I do not make the cut. My uh, mount is probably not consistent enough. Shooting at a non-moving target with a quick mount and shoot is a totally different uh, discipline from a gun standpoint, but the key to this whole thing, I believe, is that I need to practice more. <laughs> Um, this is a great drill though that you can do to kind of see where your holes are at. Are you consistently mounting, are you consistently shooting, you're like me where you're a little bit all over the place. Now granted I am dancing around the circle and at a reasonable distance most of these are going to do the job, but I think that we can all take uh, a note out of this book that putting some effort into doing some drills, like the drills I'm going to show you in one of these next videos, um, it's going to make a big difference. Follow along with me this summer as we try and become better shooters in preparation for the fall. I'm the guy with the pink gun, and we will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.